What's going on YouTube? Uh, back with another Grandfather Brew Day. This time I'm brewing a uh, raspberry wheat. Uh, the recipe will be in the description down below. Just having my morning coffee. I've got my strike water up to temperature and it's saying add the grains which I haven't crushed yet. So I'm going to just finish my coffee while that's sitting at temperature and uh, we'll be right on to it. Uh, going to crush the grains, going to dough in, um, going to mash for an hour, mash out for 10 minutes, uh, and then sparge as usual, and uh, should be a good brew day. We've got two kilos of frozen raspberries going into uh, fermenter, uh, when the final gravity, the, the specific gravity gets to below 1.020 and uh, I've never done a raspberry wheat before. I had Max Bohemian Raspberry Wheat uh, which is 2.5% and I thought it was really nice so let's get on with it. out and that will go to mash out and once it hits 75 it'll start a 10 minute timer okay 10 seconds and we'll be on with the sparge go and speed it up and play some music god damn it
Okay, so we've hit the hundred and we won't start the boil timer just yet. dump these hops in now. I'm not going to use the hop spider because uh, it's only 12 grams. And start the boil timer. <whistles> 60 minutes. Lovely jubbly. Get back to it. Okay, so we've got to add our Irish moss, which I almost forgot about. Just going to guesstimate it. There we go. Done, like a dog's dinner. Alright, we'll catch you uh, when it's going into the the old fermentation chamber. So we ended up with uh, 22 litres. And I should have got 20. So I had two litres too much in there but that's not a problem it still makes it around about five percent go we're at 18 so we've recalibrated that now we just need to plug in the heat belt 
tuck that puppy back in there. Make sure the heat belt's working. Yep, I can feel it. Perfect. There we go, down. Okay, so that's uh, another brew day done. Um, I've got two kilos of raspberries to put in um, when specific gravity reaches 1.020 or less. And uh, I'm going to leave it in there for about three weeks. Something like that. Anyway, cheers. The recipe will be in description and uh, do make it up. It's, I reckon it's a good recipe. I don't know if it's the Pilsner malt or what, but my grain crush was the same. Everything was the same, but I got 72 to 73% efficiency. Anyway. It is what it is.